So what has surprised me the most is that when I take a role, you know, uh, I always make an assumption that everyone has good intentions, you know. So that was something that was given to me, my dad and my parents as part of the value. So those two things which came was like that, you know, uh, my, as even growing up, my parents would say like the prayer would be like, you know, oh God, like, you know, help everyone else before you help me. And I used to be like, what are you saying? <laughs> like, help everyone like before. Then he's like, yeah, if people around you are happy, won't you be happy? Like, you know, you get your happiness from other people, right? And I'm like, oh, that's actually true, you know? Maybe because if my friends are happy, my neighbors are happy, the community is happy, why won't I be happy, right? So kind of bringing that, and it has stuck with me. And then it was always about that, hey, even if he, were, he was earning one rupee, then he will give 10% for, to help others. I'm like, we ourselves don't have enough. Like, you know, when we were growing up and then he was like, no, 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 you have to, you know, because there is always someone else who is more poor than us, you know? So then he would, that, so two things like giving before you eat and helping, thinking of people's happiness before your happiness. And that's how I am. So I cannot hurt someone. I, if, even by mistake I do, it really hurts me forever. So I'm, I'm very different built inside. So what, what, kind of, what kind of has surprised me uh, that, you know, and I go with that intention that everyone is like me, right? That everyone wants to do the right thing. And then, and they, people want to do. So most of the time, 99%, uh, most of the time when I go with that objectivity that, you know, everyone has right intention, it always works. Because at the end, you realize that you're trying to understand the person's intention and then intentions are not wrong, you know? So, um, but then the only time that surprises me is that when people put their themselves before the company, you know, it's it sounds very easy to say, but and I've seen many times, like people think of their own own career or own situation mm -hmm. before they think of what I'm doing, how would it impact my company? Because company is bigger, company has people, company gives jobs to people, it runs people's families, it helps people go to colleges and then gives so much. So that has, that behavior surprises me. And, and like, and I have met people, you know, who, sur who have surprised me. And, but then I have, you know, I've been able to kind of not like talking, but then I've tried to spend time in understanding uh, is it intentionally or have they are they just like that, right? So then that is generally very interesting for me to understand that. Why would you not think of company first? Everything that you do, why are you not attaching everything to the broader, bigger goal? Uh, and then like that's, think of that psychology or something. I've always kind of enjoyed kind of, you know, dissecting that and then kind of figuring it out, like why, you know? So that's kind of is generally surprising because if you think good for the company, if you're always keeping company first, the good things will happen to you as well. 